Hey guys, it's Lauren Salad here, um, and I am with Cooper Welsh. Hello. And we wanted to uh, take some time today and record a little video to show you guys what's been going on behind the scenes with the Windows Creator for Game Salad. So Windows Creator. We've been working hard on it since the the first uh, release, and we wanted to show you kind of what upcoming changes you can expect and what kind of future planned things that we have in the pipeline that are going to be worked on. Yes, that is correct. So, take it away. Take it away, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey guys, I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, this is Cooper Welch with Game Salad and uh, I'm working on the Windows Creator design right now and I just wanted to give you guys a preview of um, some of the improvements that we've made to the interface, some of the things that you can expect in the next release of Windows Creator. Um, so uh, if you're looking at the screen you've probably already noticed a few differences between what you see here and what we released in the beta. Uh, we have two big ones right off the bat. Uh, it's a redesign of the library pane up here on the top left and a redesign of the attributes pane on the bottom left. So I'll just go through these uh, just really quickly and show you guys some of the big improvements here. So with the library, um, the first thing right off the bat is we have a call to action here that lets you easily create a new actor. If you're a new user to Game Salad and you've never used it before, this is a good place to start. Um, it, it's very easy to get into. So I can just click this button and um, you'll see a new actor pop in there really quickly. I can also use the plus button just like what we had before. Uh, I can easily create new tags, uh, which is a little bit easier to do now. <clears throat> and I also have a grid view in addition to the list view for this. So I can see all of my actors in a grid. So I think before there was only a list view. So you can get a little bit bigger thumbnail preview on those actors if you have images applied to them. And you can easily drag actors into new tag groups as well. So it's just, it's much easier to use than it was before. Um, on the very far left of the library, I have a scenes tab. Um, I can easily add new scenes. I can remove them with the minus button. And once again, I have a list view and a grid view for my scenes. <clears throat> Just gives you a little bit bigger thumbnail preview in the grid view. Uh, layers are dramatically improved in this new version as well. I can make a bunch of new layers and then uh, just dragging them around to reorder them is much easier than it was before. <clears throat> you can see I'm reordering these layers very easily and you can see where you're dragging it to really easily. Um, this is a new media tab. We've basically combined the images and the audio tab into one. <clears throat> so all of your images and sounds will reside in this one area here. Uh, there's another call to action. It says add images and audio. I can click this. It will give me a file browser and I can just open these uh, these images here. And one other nice thing about this is that for images you can see the sizes of the images in this info column here on the right. Uh, so that's, that's pretty nifty uh, when you're dealing with your images. Uh, you also have a grid view for this as well so you can see larger thumbnail previews on these guys. <clears throat> One thing that we wanted to get in here but we couldn't is the um, ability to have folders and group things via folders. Um, that's something that we are still trying to work on but there were technical limitations that prevented us prevented it excuse me prevented us from getting it into this, this uh, particular release. So that's still on the radar. We haven't forgotten about it. Um, hopefully for now you'll be satisfied with um, just the improved organization of these things. Uh, <clears throat> it'll group all of your images first and then it'll put audio at the bottom. So um, hopefully you guys will be okay with that for now. But uh, I definitely still am working on uh, the folders thing. So um, next we have a, uh, a behaviors listing. Uh, this should look familiar to those of you who have used Mac Creator. This is uh, basically just the full listing of all of your behaviors that you could possibly have in a game. <clears throat> and um, you can click on any one of these behaviors. And um, additionally, there's a little, a little bar down here on the bottom that you can click. And it will give you 
a view of the definition for any given behavior. So if you're new to Creator and you want to see what these things can do, you can see their, their definitions there. It's good for new users. <coughs> Uh, and you can just drag these down to the backstage. Um, we also have a tables tab and this is where all the tables in your project live. I can create new tables and I can also see the size of the tables in that, uh, in that listing there. So uh, moving on we have the attributes pane down here on the bottom left. Uh, before in the, in, the, in the beta that we released the attributes were basically grafted in with the backstage. So you had to have backstage up in order to see your attributes. Now the attributes are split out. You don't have to have the backstage up to see the attributes. You can simply come down here to the attributes pane at any time and you can view your game attributes on this tab here that says game. Uh, you can view your scene attributes on this tab, and you can view actor attributes on this tab. Now right now I don't have an actor selected, so there's nothing showing up here. Um, but you can easily see the game attributes. Um, I can add things here just like you would in, in uh, Mac Creator. This hasn't really changed. Um, and then uh, let me just select an actor up here so you can get an idea for that. So uh, yeah, now you can see that the actor attributes have popped in now that I have an actor selected. And um, there's a little call to action here, similar to Mac Creator. It says drag an image here. Um, I can scroll through all the attributes for this guy. Um, let me just make something to show you what that looks like. So I can just create a new attribute. Um, say, I don't know, um, what's a good? I don't know. Test test attribute. I'm not feeling very creative right now. <laughs> um, and uh, it just it you can easily do that. You can easily edit the names of these guys. Um, it's just uh, it's a lot better than it was before. A little bit more polished. <clears throat> and uh, there's also this button here. Uh, it says edit rules. This is simply another way for you to pop up backstage uh, if you're kinda looking for where to find it um, you can just click this button here and it'll pop up backstage for this particular actor um, so the last thing that I want to show you or well we have a couple more things but they're mostly in backstage um, so the last couple of things I want to show you is first of all uh, when you open backstage you'll notice that the behavior browser is gone um, there is a big listing of all of your behaviors down here. Uh, it was a little convoluted for some people. And um, a lot of people have been saying that they want to maximize the amount of real estate that they have for editing their logic in a project. So we're really happy with this change. We think it's going to help in terms of giving you more space to work with, uh, work with your rules and behaviors. Um, and you also have this listing at the top left now, so you can simply come up here to your library and um, you can drag stuff in from up here. Uh, let me just drag in a little, let me drag in a rule here. There you go. So um, you still have that same functionality, you just have to go up to the library on this behaviors tab in the top left now. Um, also, another very uh, welcome thing that I know a lot of you guys are going to like a lot is uh, the addition of the expression editor. So we now have the expression editor in Windows Creator. Um, this is pretty much identical to what we have in Mac um, and you can easily browse for, for attributes and, uh, and functions as well. Um, and you can do complex mathematical formulas in the expression editor here very easily. So that's a very powerful thing. Um, we also have the uh, attributes browser as well. So um, this is just like the expression editor, but it simply lets you browse for, for attributes. Um, so that'll give you a lot more power when you're, when you're editing your, uh, your rules. <coughs> um, and I believe that is it. Uh, well, you'll also notice, I guess, that we've split out these rule, group, and timer buttons up here on the top right. So it's just one less click to get to those guys. Um, and there, there are lots of other just little polish items here and there, um, things that we've done to try to make the interface feel a little bit better. And we're constantly trying to work on those things. And so 
Um, you know, thank you guys for all the feedback that you've given us. It's really helped us a ton in terms of um, improving the interface and making it better. And we really do want to make it as as good as we can for for all of you guys out there. So thank you for that. Um, also, uh, some of the stuff that we have planned for the future, just to give you kind of a heads up, the stuff that I'm showing here is what's going into the next release, which I believe is in the, well, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's soon, it's soon. Um, but uh, there's some other future planned updates that I just want to clue you in on really quickly. Um, we are going to be doing another pass at the, the backstage and improving kind of the feel of editing logic there. Um, we're going to be tightening up uh, the content of the behaviors, so it's going to be even more uh, condensed, so you have more uh, room to work with uh, for, your, for all of your logic. And we're also going to be doing some more polish with the autocomplete fields as well, making those feel a little bit better. And um, the condition statements as well um, are going to be changing a little bit the way that conditions work. So um, expect a lot of good backstage improvements. Um, we also are going to be putting an undo uh, very soon. Uh, that's going to be another big feature that we work on and we're going to be putting in a dashboard as well. So good for the new users. Like a lot of people have uh, expressed concerns that they have problems um, finding where to where to start and they want existing templates to work off of so we're definitely going to be putting in a dashboard uh, sometime in the near future. Is that going to be similar to the dashboard experience in Mac Creator or something that's going to be overhauled as well? Uh, it'll be similar to Mac Creator, yeah. So there's not going to be a whole lot of whole lot of difference. Just everything you would expect to see there. Some templates, um, you know, create a blank project, open a recent project, uh, shortcuts to tutorials, that kind of thing. Um, and then uh, the last big thing I'll mention uh, that I think you'll be very excited about is multi-select. Uh, we actually have multi-select working and uh, it's kind of making the rounds here at Game Salad right now and um, we're doing some uh, some reviews on it just to make sure that <coughs> it's <we're> actually... awesome. <laughs> that was Billy. <laughs> Billy says it's awesome. <laughs> um, and it is awesome. I think you guys are going to love it. Uh, it's going to speed up your workflow tremendously, and um, you know, hopefully, we can get that in there uh, very soon. So, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little preview of what's to come, and um, you know, just know that we are we're working hard to make this uh, as good as it can be, and um, you know, we want you guys to to make really great games. So. Um, Thank you, and I'll turn it back over to Lauren. Yep, I was just going to say, um, you know, thank everybody again for their communication and feedback on the forums. It's something that um, I look at every day, Matthew and I look at every day, and then we make sure to to pass on all the knowledge to, to Cooper and the team that he works with so that everything is coming together, um, you know, in a way that's great for you guys as, as our developers. So thank you. All right, see you later.